conformation is a general term that includes mostly structure uh, and balance, how all the parts of the horse fit together and make one whole. The overall health of the horse is affected by conformation in the sense that we think that horses that are structurally sound, meaning they're not likely to get lame, are more likely those that have straight legs and have good balance and conformation. We use our horses here on the ranch. We use them to gather cattle. We use them for riding lessons. We use them to compete on. If a horse is not put together correctly, it is likely that the longevity of that animal will be short. Confirmation is important to me, um, probably a little bit different than a halter person or somebody that shows halter would look. I mean, I still want some of those aspects, straight legs um, and good confirmation, but I also want good movement. I want a horse to be sound. Um, I want to make sure that they're going to do the job that we want them to do, whether it's Western Pleasure or English or if it's jumping or if it's contesting. I feel like you need a little bit different ability and I look for something different in each of those horses. If you're going to purchase a horse, it's going to be an investment, whether it be for pleasure or business. Uh, nobody wants to lose money. And if they don't, if they're lame, you can't use them and you're at a vet. I think over the years I've learned about confirmation in different ways. I started in 4-H uh, and I was on a training farm growing up and so um, evaluating horses that way. But I think I learned a lot um, just evaluating horses for other clients and trying to see what they need and then when I'm riding horses and breaking them for people um, you see a lot of flaws and things that kind of get in the way of what you're trying to do um, what the program is and so you look at those confirmation faults and say oh this is what I definitely don't want in the next horse uh, I need it to be a better mover or whatever is going to fit what it needs to do. Confirmation is easy to learn uh, but you have to be a student of the skeleton and the structural correctness of the horse and then get used to looking at a lot of horses and see how it all fits together. It should look like it's all one balanced horse. There's certain correct balanced conformation that isn't related to the breed itself and that usually means that it's proportional. All the parts fit together in what we mean balance. Uh, the front end should be a little higher or as, as high as the rear end. Uh, the legs should be straight and on four corners uh, under the horse. So how the horse fits together is a structural, skeletal, muscular issue, not a breed issue. I feel like the horse should be in balance. Uh, if it's not, you definitely have more weight on the front end or the hind end, uh, changes their stride. And so, yeah, I definitely like a balanced horse. Uh, in general, a horse's neck should be the same length as its back, and its back should be the same length as its hips. So you could divide the horse into three parts uh, horizontally from the profile. Um, so that's the first thing I think I'd look for. Then as you look down the legs, I think you want to be able to drop a straight line from the middle of the shoulder down uh, a line in the back of the front leg that would bisect the leg and descend right behind the heel uh, at the bottom. Uh, and likewise, if you go to the back leg, uh, there should be an angle of a V that comes forward from the pelvis um, or the hip joint, if you will, forward to the stifle and then back again to the hock. So there's good angulation of the stifle joint and it's not too what we call posty. And then the cannon bone itself should be pretty much in line with the back of the buttocks of the horse. So there's a line from the buttocks to the hock to the uh, back of the fetlock and back. Um, and then I would always get back away from them again and look at the whole profile and how does this whole horse fit together uh, and the balance of the horse is to me most important. And that it looks like whatever breed it's supposed to be. The quality of the horse, its movement affects the comfort and what the rider feels mostly in, in how much concussion is absorbed in the angles of the pasture and in the shoulder. Um, it's a much more comfortable ride if the horse is reaching with longer, more sweeping strides uh, rather than shorter, choppier strides where the toe hits the ground with a lot more concussion. So it's a more comfortable ride if the horse is structurally correctly. Pasterns are important. They're up and down. They're straight up and down, the straighter a pasture and bone is, the more uncomfortable the horse is going to be to ride. That is key. The quality of the movement and how they move is affected by the conformation, mostly in the angles of the bones. Um, how the shoulder and the arm are angled allows the horse to have a longer stride in front and 
the position of the head dictates whether the leg goes higher and lower uh, or if it reaches further forward in longer strides. The rear end is where all the power comes from in the engine, so the real power of the horse is determined by the angle of the pelvis, the angle from the pelvis to the stifle. So how well the rear end is set underneath the horse really determines the uh, ability to move well. Uh Since a horse drives from the rear end, I really like uh, a strong hip and I like their hock to drive up underneath them. We call it, you'll hear um, kind of in the show industry, that they're splitting their hocks where when they drive up under them, those two hocks are separating really far. That's one of the things I look for. Um, also a flat knee movement when, when their leg stretches out in front of them. I want their leg to stay kind of straight, not bending and picking up. We call that you know knee action, so I don't want a lot of that. Um, and I also want a horse that's got a good, you know, structure and not too straight of a shoulder and not too much slope, but good, strong, square body. Is she straight-legged? Does she have a good deep hock? Does she have a nice rump? Is she pretty-headed? Is she smart? Uh, I think when you're going to look at a horse uh, to buy, you should definitely bring another set of eyes with you. Um, the confirmation is a factor, but sometimes you fall in love with the, oh, it's cute, instead of uh, how's it put together and is it going to do the job that I want it to. And